Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You can see this really cool knife here. We're going to be talking about it. It's a uh, old timer heritage series. I think this is a new series. I'm not really sure. But um, I was looking for another knife and uh, came across this and said, hmm, you know, uh, let me check this out. Uh, it's a good looking knife. And... Um, I am not really happy with this knife, so if you like to hear why I'm not happy with it, uh, go ahead and check out the video. Run away, everybody run away! What would you do, Olivia? I'd punch him in the nose. I'm going to run away with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> or that octopus. <laughs> all right, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. Bonjour, privet, guten tag, hola, ciao, and konnichiwa to my foreign viewers. Man, I really appreciate them. They make up fifty percent of my audience. And um, today we're going to be talking about this little knife. Look at it; it's beautiful, isn't it? laminated wood so i don't think that's um resin impregnated it doesn't feel like it but um all all of the packaging says is that it is uh laminated wood um polished bolsters polished uh, blades uh, brass pins you see brass liners there is no gapping on this knife uh really good transitions um, they feel pretty good. A little bit of sharpness right there. Um, uh, nothing real big. Standard for a new knife, really. Um, it is a 34, uh, OT. Or, yeah, 34 OT, I think it is. 34 TH, I'm sorry. Um, so the, uh, blade steel in this is... D2, there's the old timer logo. You see the 34. Yeah, this says OTH. Okay. Old timer heritage series and D2 steel. Pretty good edge on there. Pretty good edge there. Let's look at the other blades. Good edge. Kind of loses it at the end. That's kind of common though. And pretty much the same edge. I think that's a pretty good job, actually. You can see again, it's kind of bobbled here. And kind of messed up at the bottom here. Come on, snap in. That's not such a great job on that edge. Same thing here. They kind of go in get stable and then they lose it at the edge here not the best job with the edges so i'll show you the box it came in uh preformed box d2 those are your specs on it gray laminate wood handle nickel silver bolsters made in china okay so, why am I not happy with this knife? Okay, uh, basically, it's the uh, back springs on this knife. So that's very light. It snaps shut. Very light pull, maybe a two or a three. And then listen, you got a pretty soft click. Nice transition, though, on the back there. Nicely polished on the tang. But uh, when you go to shut it, it's kind of soft. And you're going to see that even worse here. So that is just like a one. That opens really easy. Nice little pop there on the pin blade. Nice transition. 
nice tang on it. But when you go to shut this, very, very, very easy. Look at that. So there's hardly any resistance whatsoever on that blade. And it gets worse, guys. So when you come over very soft on the half stop, see, kind of wiggles there at the half stop. And then when you come over, you get a little light, maybe one or two uh, spring going down on that blade. On this blade, you have nothing. There is no snap whatsoever. Nice transition. But again, look at that. So there is no spring whatsoever there. See that? It just pushes. No spring. Very, very sloppy on the half stop. And then um, when you go to uh, push this shut, very, very soft, maybe a half, not even a, a one on the closing on this. So um, can you use this? Yeah, you can use it, uh, especially the clip. But man, I'll tell you what, I... If you were using this, um, probably either one of the back blades, if you were using this and, and moved your hand and accidentally hit something, um, you're really liable to get that thing um, cut. There's no resistance whatsoever. It's just not the way you should make a knife. Okay, so that's why I'm so down on this knife, but there's more, right? So this was not a $9 knife. It wasn't a $10 knife. It was an $18 knife. This knife was $31. And I want to show you another one. So I've had really good luck uh, buying the uh, Smith & Wesson uh, Shrades. Uh, this is another one. This is an old timer. It's a 34 uh, OT. Perfect. Just like this one is, there's no gaps in this knife, by the way, when you hold it up to the light. There's no gaps in this. But this knife is absolutely uh, remarkable. So, um, very strong snap. I think you heard it. Very strong snap. Very good resistance. It's hard to overcome that. And then you have a good snap going down. Look at that. And this is one of the best made knives that, that I uh, have in my collection. It's paid $9 for it. Uh, you know, except for the mediocre shield, the um, plastic handles, you know, which is what you expect for $9. This is a really well-made knife. It just blew me away when I got it. And that's what I expected to get out of this. So this is 31 This was 9 so, um, I feel like I got ripped off for $31, honestly. I mean, you expect, um, that's not huge money, but I mean, you can spend $40 and get a Rosecraft blade. That's perfect. You can get, um, I spent $33 on my, um, Rough Rider Reserve Black. That thing is perfect. $33, this is $31, and it's, it, it's not made the way a knife should be made. And so um, that's the reason why I'm down on this. And, um, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you see these, yeah, they're kind of pretty. You could use this knife, but it's not made the way it should be made. And, uh, yeah, I could return it, but it's just not worth the hassle. And chances are I'll probably get the same thing back. So uh, I'm not even interested in returning it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. I usually don't make negative videos, but man, you know, $31 for this crap, you know, it doesn't function the way it should. And so, um, take it for what it's worth. Uh, thanks again, guys, for supporting the channel. Bye.